Hey there, I want you to read tarot better. This week we are doing one question, but we are unpacking the mega question into a series of smaller questions that I call the thin slice technique to get us to some really clear answers about what is going on very simply, very easily, um, and also helping us understand both stated questions that are usually driven by anxiety or worry, uh, and also questions below that that sometimes take some work to figure out what they are. So uh, here's the question we're doing this week. I'm unsure if my boyfriend loves me anymore. Our relationship has gone a bit awry since before I went back to school. He calls me out on small things, makes me feel bad in front of friends, then apologizes and acts like it's never happened. Not sure what to do. So yesterday we did the stated question that she asked. Does he love me? And it's really important as a reader that we don't change the question because we think another question is better than what the querent is asking, as long as it suits within our own um, our own morals, you know, um, if there are some things that make you feel uncomfortable and you don't for you, then you don't. But we want to make sure that we keep agency and consent with the querent. So I always do the stated question first, the one they want to know. Does he love me? And yesterday we did that. We had ace of swords and we had two of swords, right? So there's some ambiguity. And that led us to the second question. The second question is, why is he confused? What's going on with him? And I pulled two more cards. Very interestingly, the plot thickens. We have three of wands and we have five of swords. So very interestingly, five of swords uh, is like you win through deception. That's one of the meanings of it. And for me, actually, it is a strange, like you got the job card, but it definitely is that there's some competing force uh, in a way that may not be good. Uh, for for you as the querent. So I really see these two as there is five of swords. There could be somebody else that he's now interested in. Uh, and he's wondering to himself, would the grass be greener on the other side? Would the grass be greener on the other side? Should I maybe move to the other side of that grass is? There's definitely some energy here. But we're not getting the real, uh, the cards that for me are like, yeah, he's cheating on you. So I think it's just in his head, like it's nothing that's really been expressed. Maybe there's a friend from work or a friend at school and he kind of likes her. Uh, and he enjoys her. Maybe it's a friendship, but he's definitely like now a little confused. He's not certain as he was before because someone else has entered the picture. But right now it's still kind of innocent. So what's going on with him? He's uncertain about whether he loves you or not at this point. And like, you know, why is he uncertain? Because there's somebody else in his orbit who's making him wonder if the grass is greener on the other side. But this is not overt just yet. I think this is kind of like, he's not even really thinking about it yet. It's not conscious for him either. So now we have those answers, which leads us to the third answer, which is, is there anything I can do as the querent to get this back on track? So, okay, maybe he's talking to this girl and I've been really busy at school and uh, they're getting close. Is there anything I could be doing to strengthen our relationship? So he's not wondering if the grass is greener on the other side. And that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. See you then.